what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel confidently shan i'm shanice if you've been enjoying my content so far please consider subscribing to the channel liking the videos and leave me a comment and in today's video i'll be doing some DIY. I'll be setting up this baker's rack that I got from Amazon just to save some space in my kitchen. So as you can see here I'm taking out the different parts from the box and checking the instruction manuals making sure that I have all the parts. It was a fairly simple task. It required two people to set up and should take about two people 40 minutes but it took me roughly three hours because it was just me and I made a few mistakes along the way and had to pull down a part and redo it but outside of that it was a pretty simple build so if you enjoy this kind of stuff why don't you keep watching to see how I put this together. So the only tool that it required to set up was an allen wrench or allen tool and it was a little difficult. It hurt my fingers, I'm not gonna lie, but if you hold it correctly, it will get the job done. And once it's fully assembled, it is pretty sturdy. I mean, I have a lot of stuff stored on it and it's standing up to the test. It is pretty firm, I must say.
So like I said, I got this off Amazon. I got it in the rustic brown and it was originally $119, but I got it um, during the Black Friday sale. So I got it for $89.99 and with the tax, it came up to $96. I got it fairly quickly and it has, well, the rustic brown and the metal parts are black. It's a baker's rack or it can be used as a microwave stand or a coffee station or you can use it to store pots and pans. It is 52 inches tall and 35.4 inches wide. It also comes with some S hooks in case you wanted to hang stuff on it. So I've been using this for a few weeks now and um, one feature is that the wooden parts are varnished. It comes with a heavy varnish on it so it has this glossy finish which in my case turned out to be a good thing because my coffee maker leaked water on it. I'm not sure how long it was sitting there but after I dried it there was no damage to the wood or anything. It was just as good as new so... For durability, it's a 10 out of 10 for me.
so no I don't have these three appliances on the counter I can have more space to prep stuff just when I'm cooking in general just more space so yeah I think this was a good buy and then I can put I have a little cluttering going on um, in one of the cupboards so I can put like, my rice cooker on one spot and my air fryer on the other and yeah have more space easier access to everything I'm not sure this will be the final look or how I organize it but this is it for now um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get like sugar, creamer, the coffee, or regular coffee here. And then I have the coffee maker, toaster, food, so the kids can have easy access to just grab, go, I'll wash those, put them out, and then they have easy access to the microwave as well. Hopefully they won't have to get up as much and if there's ever anything that they need to pop in there, they can use it. I don't have to keep them plugged in because it switches back here so I can power on and off when they're not in use. And then if I'm using the juice or the air fryer, I'll just take it to the cupboard in the kitchen. And then I have another shelf left and I have the drawer. Not sure, but I think I'm just gonna keep the blender on the kitchen counter. And these are okay as is. Um, there are some S hooks that came with it, but I didn't put them on just because it's gonna be out in the way here and I'm not gonna hang anything there. So. Yeah, that's it.